This ain't the type of friendly tree we're used to. Everybody, happy Halloween welcome back to the channel hope you're having a trick-or-treat day so today I have a treat for you guys I'm gonna be painting the demonic tree from dungeons and lasers I picked this up from bootsick FDB they also have some other dungeons and lasers miniatures and terrain if you want to go take a look at that but today I'm gonna have fun with this miniature because I'm just gonna be slapping on all sorts of paint with the airbrush with all anyways I'm just gonna have a lot of fun with this miniature making it as demonic looking as I can so let's get to the table and start painting well first off we actually have to build this miniature that's right Dungeons and Lasers miniatures are to be built so you gotta get out the old snippers and so on and so forth if you're looking at the instructions online I suggest following along with my video instead because they made it a little bit more different of how it should have been glued together uh, so just try to follow along I know it's a little bit fast and I'm not saying exactly what numbers to follow but there is a guy online too if you search it I use his method as well uh, just because I found that it was weird it was like you had to start about number four instead of number one I think before doing the way anyways so this is the construction of the demonic tree uh, I don't usually just buy miniatures for no reason but this one was just awesome looking and I was like with Halloween coming up and today being Halloween I figured let's have a miniature that's kind of spooky ish and looking like that uh, and if you join my discord or if you're in my discord already go put some spooky miniatures you've painted I want to see what you guys have come up with all right so we primed the whole thing in demonic yellow uh, army painter spray can uh, just because it's gonna have a cool base and then I was trying the undershot shading that Goober Town Hobbies and what's her name Dana Howell were showing but I decided to use the purple tone from army painter and it sucked in the air in the airbrush all it did was like splatter it on it. It didn't even do a great job at all. So let's make this tree spooky. The point of the undershot, by the way, was to do a reverse shading effect so that the shading would be underneath or whatever. But I mean, it still did some shading and it's still gonna work what I did. I had to let it dry a lot because it stayed wet a lot longer than if I would have brushed it on, which is really weird. And I'm using some really cool air paints that have some really cool names like Feral Green, because why not? And I made his face that feral green on the tree here. So this is no ent. I mean, this could be an ent, but I mean, he's demonic. He's got people hanging in the tree. And we're using some necrotic flesh. And this we're going to put on, definitely on the, the actual little bodies here hanging in the tree. If some of it splashes into the actual tree, it's not the end of the world because I want to look really messed up this tree. I wasn't even going for any kind of color scheme. I just wanted to have the browns and greens and yellows and all this weird demonic colors and i'm using some cypress brown here putting some on the tree as well just you know randomly splotting it on here uh and try not to cover up any of the other green stuff or whatever but as it dries up to what's fun is that it kind of like dissolves into the other paint now on the ground though where the mud is and the branches and the vines and all that i did put it thicker there uh especially with the crow hue as well i went and put that on all the stones on the bottom here and even if i hit some of the branches of his feet i didn't mind because i was like it's almost like he's becoming part or he is part of the ground as well like he takes up that kind of thing now here i don't know what happened i completely forgot to record the majestic majestic fortress that did all the water around or the swampy area so sorry about that but it's just to get all the water at the bottom here you see all the nice waves and by getting it too i also got some of the rocks some of the foliage around some of his feet uh it, it was fun and using the airbrush is actually kind of interesting to do that because you can just splot on or be as detailed as you want now i think my pressure is still too high for really high details i want to try and paint a miniature like an actual little person miniature <laughs> little sorry little miniature <laughs> up and um with just an airbrush so i gotta figure out the right pressure to put that on there now I'm focusing on these uh hung people that are hanging in the tree which i hadn't noticed in the original picture i just noticed it like when i was looking at the box and i was like oh my god there's a person hanging then i saw oh there's two people hanging this tree is demonic so i don't know if he maybe he's trying to save these people and try to walk somewhere that they can get saved or something i doubt it but whatever and as you saw i put some peachy flesh on them to or i don't even know if i did that yet i don't think i did 
here it comes. I knew I was doing the peachy flowers. Like they're not pink enough. But with the necrotic flesh underneath, it really makes them like they. I don't know if they've been there a while or it, I don't know. It just makes them kind of gross looking, which just adds to the whole demonic part of this tree. And like I mentioned before, if you're in my Discord, if you're not in my Discord, you can join. It's free to join my Discord. Uh, come show me pictures of your spooky miniatures. I want to see what you've created that's what you consider scary or spooky-ish. Uh, I like doing these kind of things for fun. Uh, this miniature is going to just be a display model. Probably never going to use them. Maybe uh, maybe even put them up for auction or something at some point. Or, uh, and the money could go towards charity, but we'll see about that. Anyways, we're going to just finish off some of the bottom here with uh, some shade null oil. Yeah, I'm using, yeah, I like, I like Citadel shades. They have a good range and I find that they're, they dry fast and they do a nice coverage. Not as sticky uh, and I've never tried them like really in an airbrush though. So I don't know how that would work. But anyways, I could have tried that purple one that they have, but as an undertone, but as the undershot thing. As you can see now, I'm using Agrax Earthshade. And what I'm doing is I'm going up, I was gonna go entire tree, but I'm like, no, you know what? It's gonna darken them down too much. I want them to be a little bright. So I'm just doing part of the legs and the branches around it. So it looks like he's muddied and it's like splattering up on him. Uh, I'm also gonna do his nails just to make them like a little bit more rotting and stuff like that. Just to, you know, add a bit more. Now I'm using some Toxic Mist to dry brush on top of uh, that blue I use. And then I'm gonna toss on some Water Gel Transparent Diorama Acrylic Paint by AK Interactive, which I dropped down the side of the miniature there. I had to pick that up. It was just oozing out, but it's just like PVA glue with a bit of water, by the way. I think that's what it is, to be honest. Uh, but I put this everywhere where the water is. It's gonna give it a nice shine to it, a nice swampy look. And there you can see it up close on the bottom right there, what it looks like. Just looks amazing. This demonic tree turns out looking so cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this spooky video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next one.